Hi again, it's Carolyn, and today I just wanted to go through this um, watercolor set that I picked up at Hobby Lobby on clearance. This was originally $6.99, and I got it for $1.74, so this is just a nice little set for, I think, probably more of a kid's, a kid's um, set and not professional wise but still good for journaling and I wanted to play around with it couldn't wait to do so just I just want to see what the colors look like and see how um, they react with water like how well they spread and how well they blend so I thought that I would just go ahead and film this in case you guys wanted to see how these work because I would assume that they will still have these um, on clearance if you want to go pick a set up and there's 16 colors here and I'm thinking that and these are the I'm thinking that these are opaque that these are not um, translucent colors but we'll find out and this is Sergeant Art Supreme series this is 16 count watercolor cakes brilliant brilliantly colored vibrantly bright so I'm just gonna get started and there's no information on what's what obviously you can tell that you know they're green or whatever you know some sets are they tell you what pigments are being used but the, like I said this is just a an inexpensive set so if you wanted to just play around and get started in watercolor this might be this might be decent so we'll see so I'm just gonna spray just got a little spray bottle of water and I'm just going to moisten the the cakes and then I have I'm not going to use the brush that it comes with it does have a little a little brush with it but it's I'm not I don't know if I'm going to like that so I'm just going to use one of mine and this one's just a Zen Royal and Langnickel size six and these are fairly inexpensive I think I got these at Michael's so I'm just gonna wet my paper and we'll just wet a spot on my paper and then just try out each color and this looks like the black let's see how it spreads with the water so this is a pre-moistened not bad so go on to the next color I'll just moisten a spot here and then this looks like a sienna I'm just dipping it in there seeing how it reacts and that spreads quite nice and these do look a little chalky that's that's fine go on to the blue so this would be the darker blue I'm just gonna that one doesn't spread as much as you can see it doesn't spread as fast or as much as the I'm gonna call the sienna over here and yeah I'm just dipping it in it's a nice bright blue but definitely not moving around much And I'm just rinsing my brush as I change colors. They are nice and bright colors for sure. Um, here's the the light blue. And I'll just do a close up. This also doesn't spread as 
as much. I am liking these colors though. I think I need to moisten these. They're drying up already. Let's wet another spot and let's try the pink. That doesn't spread, that doesn't flow as well either, but it's a very pretty pink. Move on to this mauve color or a rose. Looks more like a dusty rose color. That's pretty. Let's do this purple. Or lavender. That doesn't spread. Let's just add some more water. Let's move on to the red. Spreads a little bit, flows a little bit, not much. I'll do this orange. It's a pretty color. I'll do this lighter orange. Like that one. Go into this green. Oops, I think I got into the, yep, I got into that lighter green. Definitely a, a chalky, chalky texture it looks like. Get into this lime green. And then um, tan, or I don't know what color you'd want to call this. It looks um, caramel to me. That looks nice, like um, a nice, um, reminds of a toffee color. Then next are the two yellows. Take this darker yellow. I suppose I could have put my palette on the left hand side since I'm left handed but of course I had to make things difficult I'm just trying to get everything on on camera and it seemed like it fits more on camera here this way 
and then here's the lighter green like the or yellow lemon yellow they are bright colors for sure and then we have the white which I won't I won't do so let's just play around with how well they blend so let's do I'm going to take some red and I'd already wet this spot here so it's like puddling up and then I'm going to take let's take this orange here and then I'm just going to let those run together see what kind of effect we get and because I like to spray let's spray so yeah I mean these are nice to make make some pretty backgrounds for your journal pages so I'll wet another spot. We'll do, um, let's do this blue. So just got a nice puddle right here. Rinse my brush off and then I will add let's add this pink. as you can see that red turned to a pink and I can just let that flow back into itself that's got pretty pretty nice flow when you spray it a nice mix of colors if you're going to make some pretty some cool watercolor backgrounds And then let's just do, I'm not going to wet the paper first this time, let's just grab, I'll grab the blue again and just do this and then I will wet my brush and take the wet brush and just put it up to this and see how it flows. and. Not much of a flow, which of course the blue did not flow much. Let's try the, I think the one that flowed the best was this one here, which I called Sienna. So I'm not going, I'm not wetting my paper first. I'm just putting out, putting it on the dry paper and then wetting my brush and starting right here and then coming up towards the color and it does flow a little I think this blue here is fairly dry so let's see how it lifts so I'm rinsing my brush off and then I'll just dry it off a little bit and then we'll see how much it will lift off. And it does lift a little. So if you wanted to take some highlights. Yeah, they're definitely, this one's dry. So this green was this green here and as you can tell it it dries like a lot lighter than what it shows in the pan. I do like this green. It's it's a chalky color, but I mean it's chalky looking um but the color is really pretty. 
and let's see if we can layer that layer the color so um let me take which i put over top of this green we could do the let's do this yellow we'll do this and let me put that over top of this and see how that layers not so well it feels pretty very chalky and it's lifting up underneath so they they do lift up as you can see it's mixing and the color underneath is lifting off the paper but i like this effect here i like how those two colors blended i like how these are blending. I mean, these are, like I said, not professional, but I mean, you can give them a try. I mean, they kind of remind you, I don't know what they, they remind me of chalk, really. But we'll play around with these some more. I just wanted to uh, see how they would turn out. I really like this effect, though. So if I were to use it, it would be more for this kind of a... Uh, a um, loose effect and just blending the, the colors together and just letting them just do what they do what they do and spread out let's try another so I'll wet this part let's wet this here and let's do let's do this lavender And then we could do this pink here. Just put it up against there. And then we could spray it. I like that okay well that's that's it for my review I mean like I said this is not definitely not for fine art or professional grade art but definitely fun to play with and would not hurt at all to to put in a journal page at all and they look really pretty it with this technique and just the free free flowing style um, loose loose technique and would be nice for a background um, and they are vibrant colors I mean they do dry to a chalky and pretty still they're still pretty bright so well thank you guys for watching and I will have more play with these and I will also later on let's do the same thing with this because I've never tried I got this at Hobby Lobby as well and I've not tried the dollar roundy and this is the dollar roundy um brand and this is a small little travel watercolor kit and it's so cute and i'm i think this is going to be a little better quality but and we'll we'll test that out we'll compare this to this maybe i'll have time to review that one tomorrow but i appreciate you guys watching and if you haven't subscribed already please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon and so you can get notified of any new videos. I try to put up new videos once. I try to do at least two a week. Um, if not, I'll definitely do at least one. But so far, I've been pretty good. I've been doing two to three a week. So I appreciate you guys watching. And if you liked what you see here maybe you should stop by your hobby lobby and pick this up for i mean less than two dollars you can just play around and i think they're pretty cool so thank you guys for watching bye bye